I wanted to get this video out a couple days ago, but it's been really hectic around here. We are trying to find an apartment. Um, we have to move because Kerry needs to be closer to his job. But anyways, um, the number one most exciting thing um, I got as far as makeup is concerned. It's been really hectic trying to find apartments and dealing with all of that stuff. And um, yeah, it's been crazy, but it's it's going to be okay. We're, we're going to find something. Um, we might not be able to move to the town that he's working in, which I'm totally okay with. I don't really want to move there anyway. Um, but we can at least shave like 15 minutes off of his commute every day, which would really really help as far as gas goes. My favorite nail polish this month would have to be um, the Lacura Beauty Salsa Red. Um, and it's like all chipped on my nails right now, but it is like the perfect kind of warm yellow tone 40s red. It is so pretty. And I've been like really into the 1940s as far as makeup looks were concerned this month. Um, I do plan on doing a video on some tips on 1940s makeup if you guys would be interested. This is just the perfect classic red color and it's like a little bit more warm toned for spring and summer. So um, you need to check this out. The formula is so good in these Lacura nail polishes. I've been using the Wet n Wild Mega Last lipstick in Just Peachy a whole bunch. Um, it's so pretty with a little bit of clear gloss on top. That's really good for a nude kind of look. Um, I also have been loving two e.l.f. Mineral Lipsticks. I got these in the 50% off sale they were having for the Mineral Lipsticks. See, I got Cool Coral. It's probably my favorite one out of the bunch that I got. Um, it's just a really wearable coral color with a little bit of gold sheen to it. Um, this would be a coral for you ladies who don't want to do super opaque colors um, or are kind of afraid to wear like an orange lip color or orange coral color. This is a very wearable one. So I also have been loving um, Elf's Nicely Nude. It's just a really light pink color. Um, I I actually had problems like this particular color broke off inside of here, so I'm not that pumped about it. But um, the shade itself is very pretty. You can see that. It's just that one right there. Um, I have been loving this Pure Natural mineral makeup. I got it from Etsy and this is a vegan product and they don't test on animals and I think most of their products are vegan so definitely check them out. Um, I don't like that their stickers are matte I guess because like makeup kind of gets all over that if you can see that but I understand that it's kind of expensive to get um, to get shiny stickers for your products so um, I totally understand that, um, but that's just one thing. Maybe when they're doing a little bit more better with their sales, they could invest in some better labeling. Um, but I do like that they have all the ingredients listed on the back. That's really nice, and it is actually light enough for me, so that's really good to know. I've been using this e.l.f. cream blush a lot. It is in, let's see what color, Tees. I think it's the lightest one they offer. They are kind of like a mousse blush like they're not really a cream they're like almost like like putty or something like I know that sounds weird like it wouldn't look good or work well but it really really does so give that a try they are a little bit more expensive they're like six dollars but just get an elf sale and you're good to go I have been obsessively using this everyday minerals soft bronzer I think I mentioned it in my last video um, my last favorites video but I've been using it a lot this month so have to mention it, mention it again. Um, I've been using this a lot because I've been wearing a lot of really bright dramatic lipsticks. I've been wearing this as blush instead of um, a traditional pink or coral blush just to keep things a little bit easier for me to wear and like if I'm going grocery shopping um, I don't want to rock a really bright blush with a really bright lipstick you know this makes it a lot more wearable. I've been wearing Herodes a lot as like an everyday color. This is from NYX. And I think I've shared this one before, but I've just seriously been wearing it like a ton this month. I can't really tell you how much I love it. It is another like kind of soft wearable corally color with a little bit of brown in it. So it's a lot more wearable and it's, it's kind of like my lips, but better, but with a tinge of coral. So that's why I really love it. I've been loving this kiss my face tinted moisturizer. 
Um, I did a first impressions video on it. I found the best way to apply this is to make sure you put on um, a moisturizer before you put this on. I This is not a moisturizer for me. This is like a light foundation. It is not a moisturizer. So don't put this on expecting to get a lot of moisture. I like to spray some of my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set prior to applying this. It seems to make it apply a little bit more evenly. Um, and then I just use the stipple brush to apply this. And if you're having problems with it looking a little patchy still, I like to just use my fingers to warm it up and kind of just press it into my skin. But I think it's worth a little bit more work for this product because it doesn't use a lot of really horrible ingredients. Um, it, it's totally free of animal products. Um, it doesn't have a lot of harmful chemicals. Um, it is actually light enough for pale ladies. Like this stuff is super pale. So um, I really recommend it. And this shade is in Manila. If, you, if you're the same skin tone as me, I'm, I am wearing it today with a little bit of that um, pure natural mineral makeup on top. And I really like pairing these two together. I think it just, it completes my makeup look. And so this like this will set my makeup and provide a little bit more coverage and this provides a really good base for mineral makeup so that's kind of how I use them I wouldn't just use this on its own I would put a powder on top um, I really like mineral foundation with this particular product but um, yeah and it's very reasonable I think I got this for like nine dollars and that included shipping and it's got 1.4 fluid ounces in it so that's quite a bit I haven't even made a dent in it and I've been using it all month I've been using the Everyday Minerals Roll-On um, Travel Size Eyeshadow a lot. This one is in Laptop. Um, it is a really beautiful plummy brown shade. See that there? Love it. It is so pretty. The Elf Eye Mineral Eyeshadow in Golden. You can see that there. I'm wearing it um, to blend out my contour today. You can see that. Um, I've been trying to play with these more. Um, that's what it looks like. Um, just a really pretty metallic color. It kind of reminds me of um, Urban Decay's Half Baked, I think that's what it's called, like that kind of golden color. Um, yeah, I really, I really enjoy using that. They um, have a lot of glitter in them, so if you don't, if you don't apply a base to, to the product or put an eyeshadow underneath it. Um, you're going to have a lot of fallout and it might not be as easy to blend or whatever but if you put an eyeshadow down first or put a base down you should be fine with these. Um, one of my subscribers sent me this from Canada. I've been loving this this month. Um, it is the a Annabelle Eyebrow Pencil in Taupe and it exactly matches my eyebrows. Um, it's super easy to use. It's vegan. I checked the ingredients in it and it's from a cruelty free company. It's got a little um, synthetic eyebrow comb on it, so this is perfect when you're traveling. Like you can just shove it in your purse and go, um, and do your touch-ups and groom your eyebrows with it. And the color is perfect, perfect for lighter eyebrows. I really love it. Um, I'm gonna have to see if I can get more of these when I run out. I might have to ask Leanne to send me more of these. Um, I'll definitely pay you. I just really, 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 really love these. So. Um, I wish we got Annabelle in the States. It seems like a really awesome brand and they probably have more vegan makeup. I'm not even sure. Um, but yeah, definitely check this out if you are Canadian or have friends in Canada. Maybe they can send you an eyebrow pencil. I'm using my NYX concealer in a jar quite a bit this month. I just have it in Fair. Um, I like not using it with my fingers anymore. I actually have been using it with my um, Everyday Minerals Short Handle Kabuki brush. This applies it in a super even layer. Um, it's very fluffy, so it just looks really natural and provides awesome coverage. So I really like the combination of these two together this month. I've been using using this a lot more because I like I like how it looks with this brush. The Crazy Rumors Lip Balm and um, I think it's Chai Tea, Spice Chai. And all these flavors are vegan and they are approved by the Leaping Bunny, if you can see that there, which is really awesome. So um, I really recommend these. They're, they're probably the most moisturizing vegan lip balms that I've used and they come in a bunch of really neat flavors and yeah I just really enjoy this lip balm in particular because I really like tea a lot I like chai a lot so 
Um, as far as foods go this month, I really, really recommend this Oregon Chai Vegan Original. Um, a lot of chais aren't vegan because they have honey in them, but this particular brand is vegan, and I can't really tell the difference. I used to drink Tazo back in the day, so um, this tastes just, just as good, if not better. I think it's like a dollar cheaper than the chai, the Tazo chai. I think that's like five twenty nine or five twenty or something, and this is like about four fifty or something. So um, this is a much better deal. Um, but yeah, the way you way you use a, the way you use a chai concentrate is just put like a fourth in your glass. It says to put half chai, half soy milk or non-dairy milk, but I don't do that. I think that it just it's too sweet then. So I just put like a fourth in and then put in whatever non-dairy milk I'm drinking. I drink it with rice milk and I drink it with soy milk. My favorite book this month, I've actually been reading a book called The China Study by T. Colin Campbell. Um, I'm not done with it yet. It's a big book. It's like 435 pages. I'm about halfway through it. I highly recommend this book for those of you who are on the fence about going vegan because the author actually used to be a dairy farmer. He was raised on a farm. In his studies, he actually was trying to study the benefits of animal proteins and how to, um, how to solve th third world hunger and make sure that those people are getting enough protein. So that was where his original research started, and from his research, he determined that animal proteins are the main determinant if people get cancer or they don't. And the whole book is going over a study he did in China, um, and the reason why um, he did the study in China was because I think 90% or 80% or something of Chinese people come from the same ancestral background. So it, it provides a much more even playing field as far as the results are concerned, um, since they all have the same backgrounds. And he was he was doing the study by villages, and some villages tend to eat more meat and animal proteins, and some villages tended not to. And he pretty much just found a pattern that um, cancer was occurring in the villages with where they're consuming more. Um, animal protein and more of a Western diet. His book really points to more of the nutrition aspect and why it is the healthiest diet for you. Um, so I really recommend checking that out, especially um, if you're just really interested in the health benefits of becoming a vegan as opposed to just um, the animal rights aspect. It can be a little hard to understand sometimes. I have taken um, biology classes in, in college, so it was a little bit easier for me to under understand, but I still have trouble in some areas, but um, he does sum up things towards the end of chapters, and he it's not just completely a dry book or anything, like it's not super boring or anything. His life is very interesting, and just the different paths he's gone down, and where his research has taken him, and um, he's just an amazing scientist, so I definitely recommend reading that book. Um, he's just using the facts to back up why a plant-based diet is the healthiest diet and how it can prevent and even reverse cancer and different um, in different diseases so very very fascinating read and I will when I finish that I probably will do a video on it and I'll write a blog entry I'll write a review on it so um, but yeah definitely pick that up if you can my favorite album this month would have to be Come to Where I'm From by Joseph Arthur. He has a lot of issues, like he has issues with drugs and his family and um, conflicting feelings about his religion, which is Christianity, and um, he's really good with melodies too. And he did a song called In the Sun, I think a lot of people have heard that. Um, they released that as like a fundraiser for Hurricane Katrina, like the proceeds from that song went to that. So. Um, I will probably link a couple of his videos and songs in the down bar if you want to check him out, but um, very, very underrated artist. He actually is a visual artist too. His paintings are amazing. He won a Grammy for um, his album art. I can't remember for, for what album, but I'd say probably my, um, <clears throat> my favorite one that I made this month would have to be, um, it's not really a healthy one by any means, but it is my vegan mushroom stroganoff. Um, with seitan beef tips. Um, that one is definitely like the most delicious one I've had. Like it's like a comfort food. So um, don't eat that with, with um, nutrition in mind because it's not the healthiest. It's got vegan sour cream in it and stuff like that. But um, 
Um, that was probably my favorite vegan recipe I made this month, and I do have a blog post on that if you guys want to check it out. Um, I will link that in the down bar as well. 